Hello, Gareth here and I want to show you this painting. So at first this was just basically a painting from a bigger picture and the painting failed and I don't even remember now when I painted it but basically I tore it out. You can even see the tear mark and at first there were no utility poles or figure or background it was just a sky and I kept this sky because I thought it was quite good and at some point I intended to do another painting of it and improve upon it and this is what I did at last. So to be honest I'm a little disappointed with this painting but I still think it was a good attempt especially for a first try and in this painting I decided to add the utility poles and the background and then I went and added them to the original one which you can see here but I still think that original painting or scrap painting looks better so then I had another go but I went a bit crazy and um, I did these rays of light coming out from the sun. So I quite like this, but I've really gone off the tracks here and um, done something completely different. As you can see, if you look at the original scrap painting. So I like this painting, but it wasn't really why I started doing all these paintings in the first place and then I had another idea and did smoke so here we've got a farmer's fire and smoke going up into the sky and I thought that would look nice against that evening sky but what I haven't really got is those beautiful horizontal clouds so in the last painting and this painting I've taken a real detour and so finally I had another go and maybe I had a look at that original scrap painting and realized that what I wanted to paint was these beautiful horizontal clouds and this is what I did. I actually did another painting before this one and it looked very good too. And then I ended up doing this one as my final one. So I'm very happy with this. It isn't like the original painting, but I still think you've got these horizontal clouds. You've got the beautiful glow. You've got the touches of light blue and orange and purple. And I think the utility poles, the background and the figure are great. So now let's listen to a video. So now I'm going to paint that last picture or at least I'm going to show you how I painted it. So first of all I wet my paper and then I added a light blue. So I'm using a mop brush for this. Now I'm adding some yellow ochre and I let them blend together. And now this is some brilliant orange. So when I do skies I tend to use pure colors because it's more vibrant, the color is more vibrant and um, just has more of a glow than if you mix your colors in the palette in my opinion and then I blend them on the paper rather than in the palette so I'm having to wait quite a while because it's all too wet and if I painted clouds now they would just um, spread too much so you can see there with the purple it's spreading fairly quickly and so I'm just giving it some time 
to dry a little. Okay, so this is speeded up, so I'm actually waiting longer than that. And now I'm doing my clouds and I'm really trying very hard to get these horizontal clouds like what we saw in the original scrap painting. I think that was a bit of spraying them because it might be drying out too quickly now. And here we go with the uh, horizontal clouds. And I'm doing some uh, orange on the underside of the clouds where the sun is uh, catching the underside of the clouds. And uh, now it's really beginning to look nice. And finally, there is that big big bank of clouds at the bottom. Oh, and I'm just touching up the edges of the clouds there. They're a bit hairy or fluffy, so I didn't want that, so I just touched them up again. And then I'm doing the bottom bank of clouds, and that looks very nice. I'm very, very happy with this painting. It's got a beautiful glow to it and we've got those horizontal clouds. Now it has dried and the next thing I'm going to paint is the mountains. So I do this fairly quickly. I'm using my uh, cat's tongue brush or pointed oval. I really like that brush and I'm making it a little darker at the bottom and I want that mountain to look a bit a bit blue I want you to be able to see some blue in it I just love blue mountains so it's very important for me that it does look like that and not gray not simply gray a touch of blue so that's dried off and now I'm going to paint the utility poles. So I turn the paper around 90 degrees because it's much easier to make a, that stroke in a horizontal way going across like that rather than doing it from top to down or from uh, bottom to top. It's much easier to make a brush stroke from left to right if you're right handed and so that's why I turn the paper and uh, I think they've turned out very well and I'm using a, a small round brush for this and it's very important to get these horizontals looking nice you don't want them, them to be wobbly <laughs> yeah so take your time but when you do do them do them with confidence don't be painting them slowly because then you'll get a wobble and it won't look good now i'm using my liner brush and you'll notice i do the stroke a few times above the paper just to get a feeling of where it's going to go and try to remember that in a physical sense and then when I feel ready I'll put the brush to the paper and try to repeat that same mark that same action but it's not easy and even after repeated tries at making the right movement in the right place sometimes it doesn't work out when I actually do paint the final thing but you just do your best to increase your chances of success, right? So now I'm doing the uh, houses and in the distance and it's all very dark, a silhouette. I love to paint silhouettes 
they're like my favorite kind of subject and I'm also doing the uh, trees and I think I'm using a small bamboo brush because that helps you create those rough edges that you need for things like trees and now I'm going to do my figure so think carefully about how high he is going to be so this is an interesting view we're looking at things from a very low viewpoint so yeah and I'm spraying it to keep it wet and so if it's wet we can keep painting and keep changing things but once it's dried that's it game over and I've charged it with a brown color there so the idea is the last of the sunlight is catching the top of his hat and it's glowing a little brown so I think the painting is really looking good now very powerful a lovely sense of mood and also maybe like a peacefulness to it we've got a figure taking a nice stroll in the evening time in the countryside so the final thing is going to be a few highlights so I'm going to use titanium white and sometimes I mix it with a bit of brilliant orange yeah I have done this time and I'm just doing a few little highlights so I'm not sure if you would really get these kind of highlights but I'm not a 100% realistic painter I do tend to change things and now I'm doing the path just a suggestion of a path I'm quite happy with that but the sky may have been from a real sky but everything else has just been made up from my imagination or from previous paintings that I remember and uh, I think adding those highlights really really helps and the final thing are a few birds in the sky but that's also a good way to cover up little blemishes and marks that you have in the sky area and um, I think that's just about it I think the final thing I'm going to do oh just a few more touches the final thing I'm going to do is my signature so nowadays I do a very small signature it's just GN two initials and I'm just practicing now on a scrap piece of paper I'm trying to get the right mix of paint and um, I try to make it as small as possible and simple and there you go I think that looks quite nice and the painting is finished so in a moment we will see the final painting here we are it looks slightly different doesn't it I don't know why but there you go here's the final painting I'm really really happy with it I think it's got a lovely feeling of uh, beauty, of um, peacefulness and just a feeling of home and comfort but that's just the way I interpret it but the most important thing for me is that a painting does have a, a feeling of atmosphere so there you go I hope you enjoyed that and there'll be another painting coming soon and if you would like to commission a painting from me or you would like to buy a painting from me that you've seen on my website on my galleries then please contact me there will be a link below and uh, then we can have a chat and see if I can possibly help you that's all for now see you soon